Body cam video from the Pasco County Sheriff's Office over the weekend shows deputies shooting a 79 year old man after they say he reached for a gun. But that's only part of the story. Fox 13's Josh Cassio spoke with an expert who says the video, while tragic, has some important lessons. I already told you what's happening. I don't understand what you're trying to say. It appears to start out routine enough. But William Lawless, a representative for the Fraternal okay. Order of Police, says this latest body camera footage from Pasco County shows how seemingly normal encounters can turn in any one of a million directions. He spoke with Fox 13 generally about the video as to not affect the ongoing FDLE investigation. The officers are trained to look for signs, signs that put somebody outside the normal that the average person would look at and not consider. The footage was captured around 6 Saturday morning. A deputy was filling up when he meets an elderly man who appears confused and begins making rambling threats about driving into a gas pump. The sheriff says for 40 minutes, his deputies tried de-escalating the situation. As the video continues, we see backup arrive. We're just trying to figure out if you're okay. The sheriff says several deputies on scene had crisis intervention training. A hostage negotiator was also there. I'm very proud of our deputies for the fact that they try to de-escalate the situation. They try to do everything they can to help this individual. At one point, they deploy stop sticks to contain the driver. Your tires are flat. Bobby, throw them. Later, they say the man reaches for a gun. Do not touch that. I see it. It's got a brown handle. Do not do it. Do not do it. I don't want to shoot you, sir. It's the last thing I want to do. His calls for calm echoing those of a Hillsborough County deputy just a few months earlier. It's not worth it, man. We don't take anything personally. I do not want to shoot you. I've been involved in these myself when I was on the job. Nobody wants to take another life if you can avoid it, and nobody wants to live with the aftermath. In both of these cases, the sheriffs later said their deputies were forced to open fire. Probably 90% of the time, that doesn't happen. You're able to talk them down, use uh, strong interpersonal skills and training. Those peaceful endings, he says, rarely make headlines. Oh, I, I know it works. It works dramatically, and it works every day. This is a... A regular event, and there's no officer around that doesn't have to deal with this on a regular basis. A side of police work rarely seen until the worst happens, which could be at any moment. Sometimes these go from, hi, how you doing, to all of a sudden a gun comes out of the waistband. Josh Cassio, Fox 13 News. Wow. Hard to watch, isn't it?